guys, what is up? It's Century. How you doing? I think my hair is dirty to the point where it's past being cool and it's just started looking objectively bad. So I don't know. Anyway, today's exciting because I am not usually the like back to back uploader girl, as you know, and I did just take a two month break. However, we are all stuck in our houses right now or should be whether that's like by ourselves with family with friends like roommates or a partner whatever we're stuck at home surrounded by very few people and I feel like typically those people are people who know us really well so I've been taking this time as an opportunity to sort of like let my skin breathe finally like make a concrete skincare plan. Just because I'm not wearing makeup around the house and around my family doesn't mean I also don't want to look awake and alive. It's kind of a weird paradox and if you're not this type of person then this video is probably not for you. But even when I am at my most chill, I still want to look good. Maybe it's the Libra in me, but I like to look good and presentable and fresh at all times and obviously right now that's not the case. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some ways that I sort of wake up my face and I think I look significantly better without using any makeup at all. So this will be a sort of a makeup free tutorial full of tips and tricks, some of which maybe you've heard before, but some of which I'm pretty confident you have not. So yeah, without further ado, if you've never seen my face before and you're ever seeing my face again, usually I look way better than this and hopefully I look better than this by the end of the video, but feel free to subscribe down below. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me in this little video journey. It means the world. If if you like these sort of like trick videos, tips and trick videos, sort of like hack videos for makeup, hit me with a like, let me know in the comments, I will do more of them because I've thought of a couple other like, like I want to do a video of makeup that actually looks good face to face or in person because I feel like a lot of times on makeup tutorials when I follow them and even when I've done some of my own makeup tutorials it's makeup for the camera and not just like an everyday look but little makeup tricks to make your makeup look more like skin and like your face in the future so let me know if you guys want to see that but for now it's a no makeup day so I'm gonna go ahead I think I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we will just get right into it. The first thing I do when I wake up if I have access to this and I'm trying to look good without makeup um is get some ice in a bag. <laughs> a lot of people use ice water, like they'll dunk their heads in ice water, which is also an option, but because I do have a bang situation and I couldn't find a really large bowl, I often just use ice. And this is just gonna sort of wake up your face, I think. Make sure not to leave the ice on any one spot too long and don't just put free ice on your face because it's gonna be way, way, way too cold and you don't wanna get any kind of like is it freezer burn if it happens to skin? I just sort of tap along my skin to help me wake up. It also helps me feel more mentally awake as well. I think any probably cold stimulus is going to do the exact same thing in the same way that like a warm washcloth at night is going to make you go to sleep. Something cold in the morning is going to wake you up. Next, and this is sort of along the same vein, if you guys have watched my channel for a while or if you're familiar with my other videos, I struggled with my under eye bags for as long as I can remember. They're hereditary. I have really deep set dark under eye bags. If you think, hey girl, they're not that dark. Oh my God, what are you complaining about? It's because I have under eye filler in them right now. So they're actually much darker than they look presently, but even then you guys can see they're pretty dark. So what I do is I take a jade roller that's been sitting in the freezer. Now I do want to say before I talk about this that I saw on Twitter, I don't know who posted it because as soon as I closed Twitter it refreshed, but it was talking about how instead of using jade rollers you should actually use rose quartz rollers because jade rollers um, are not real jade unless you buy like a $2,000 roller and that it's actually a porous stone what these are made of so you're actually getting bacteria trapped in here and then spreading it along your face. This is a very new one. I've only had this one for about two weeks but I am going to be switching to a rose quartz roller in the future. What I like to do with these is just leave them in the freezer or the fridge overnight and then when I wake up in the morning I like to just sort of very lightly very lightly drag them along my under eye bags. My eyes aren't particularly puffy today but I do feel like on days when they are really puffy this does help them. On days when I really 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 need help I take um I forget what it's called. I have an eye serum from Tasha that I'm really obsessed with. I'll leave the name of it right here. I'll just write it down. And sometimes I will spread that using my cold jade roller and that I feel like is like the one to punch. The reason I'm not mentioning skin uh, care in this video specifically is because I feel like that's a really different topic. That's always going to be the thing that makes you look the best without makeup is good skincare. That's just going to make you look like fresh and alive, especially right now when we're all stuck in our houses and none of us can get vitamin D from the sun. Skincare is going to be really essential. 
but number one, that's a totally separate topic. And number two, you guys probably already have your own skincare routine. Skincare is very personal. So if you want to know what skincare products I do use, I can let you know in a separate video, obviously. Um, but I'm going to skip that for today because this will be way too long. Next thing I like to do is maybe the only thing that could be considered makeup, but not really. And that is to give my lips a little TLC, aka some chapstick. This is my favorite chapstick, probably of all time. It's the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm. I also normally would go in with a lip scrub if I needed it, and I actually do need a lip scrub today, which is also going to give you the added bonus of making your lips look a little bit bigger because you are going to be just like scrubbing them, messing with them. I'll even show you, and I'm not vouching for this because I don't even know if this is good for your lips. I feel like it's probably objectively bad for your lips. Using the inside of my sweatshirt sleeve like a little kid, I'll even just show you what happens when you scrub them. And I'm being very gentle, obviously, because this is not a lip scrub. This is just fabric. Even then, see how much bigger it made my lips look just from like sheer friction. Okay, my camera charger died, so if I am in a different spot or my hair looks even crazier, that's why. So I want to move into <laughs> cheeks, cheeks and contour, blush and contour. What I like to do if I'm not going to be putting any makeup on my face, kind of similar to how we used ice to wake up the rest of our skin, I actually like to pinch my cheeks. And again, this is something I'm doing gently. I'm not like going to pop a blood vessel here or anything. I just give them light little pinches. And this is a trick as old as time. I feel like I remember reading about this in like, like in the library at middle school that like these girls would pinch their cheeks when their parents wouldn't let them use blush. And it really does work. If you just saw, I did just get a little flush. If nothing else, I'm always going to have color underneath my eyes. And obviously I'm always going to have color on my lips. And I do have a bit of discoloration around my mouth as well. So I kind of just like to bring a little bit of color up onto my cheek area since I don't have any makeup to do that. The next thing I want to talk about, this is a little bit more involved, is gua sha. Now if you've never heard of gua sha before, it's essentially the practice of taking these little tools here and you scrape them along your skin and it's meant to relieve tension or relieve pressure. People use it for swelling. I'm certainly not a gua sha expert. What people use it for now is face slimming. So the idea that you can sort of contour your face by drawing out this swelling in your cheeks. I am very new to gua sha so I'm quite literally just using these as the instructions imply, and I've also been watching a couple YouTube videos on it. Genuine Glow, the YouTuber Genuine Glow, I'll leave a video down below that I found of hers where she gives herself a gua sha facial massage um, using these sort of little tools, and that's sort of what I've been going by. And this is meant to relieve any swelling or any hydration that you're keeping there. And to sharpen everything up, you can also do it along your cheekbones. This is really popular in a lot of those Vogue tutorials from models I know. And I don't know, you guys tell me. Do you see any difference immediately? Who knows? This is definitely the trick that I'm presenting to you guys today that I'm the least familiar with, but it's also definitely rising in popularity, and I wanted to mention it because it's something you can do your own research on um, to figure out if it's something you want to do. Next, I want to move on to eyes because I do have quite a few eye tricks. So the first one that I do pretty much every day without fail is I use eye drops. These are the Bosch and Loam Lumify eye drops. I get these on Amazon. It says they work within one minute and they last up to eight hours. I don't know if they last up to eight hours. I've never really run a, a test on that, but they do work within minutes immediately. Sometimes my eyes get really, really red, especially with allergies, and these will make them like blue white within one minute. This is actually a new one because I just ran out. And when I say I do this every day, I don't mean I do this every morning, like when I wake up, but if my eyes are red, I will do this every time and have for... I don't know, probably about a year now. I don't know if it's good to use eye drops every single day, so I would say probably only use them if you think you need them. One drop in each eye. You already see, or maybe you can't on camera, but I can definitely tell in real life that my eyes just get much, much whiter, and I feel like this is the easiest and the quickest way. If there's one thing you can do to help yourself look more awake in the morning, it's to use eye drops. This is maybe a silly little trick, but one thing that I never see anybody mention is how helpful it can be to brush up your eyebrows. When I first wake up in the morning, my brows are going haywire. They're going in 18 different directions. And naturally having your brows sitting higher on your face lifts your entire face, lifts your eyes, makes you look more awake. That is the easiest trick I present to you. If you don't feel like doing the gua sha and the jade roller and the eye serum and the chapstick, <laughs> you don't feel like putting on chapstick, brushing your brows up takes literally three and a half seconds. Next, I want to mention, and I don't have it down here because it's on my bed, but I think it's really helpful to sleep on a silk pillowcase, not just for your hair, but I also feel like it's much less harsh on your skin. And this is not something that I have any like quantifiable evidence for, right? But it just me changing my own pillowcase 
from a standard cotton pillowcase to a silk pillowcase. I feel like I wake up with my skin much clearer, much cleaner, much softer. I feel like it helps my skincare settle in more rather than my skincare getting like snatched by my pillowcase. It will help your hair no matter what, so. Next, and again, this kind of falls into skincare, but I would recommend going in with a moisturizer or a spray or something of some kind to add a little bit of moisture to your face. Uh, most of you will probably do this during your skincare, but if you don't even feel like doing skincare in the morning or you're a nighttime skincare person, definitely just like just a little bit of moisture I feel like always helps to like replump the face and then and if you want to go in with any kind of like highlight but you don't want to wear any makeup you can actually go in with Vaseline and what you can do is take a little bit on your finger it'll add this very natural glow I actually like using this trick pretty often that and then your skin goes from just being sort of dull and dry add a little bit to my nose and my cupid's bow and above my brows. You go from being dull and dry to being like sort of glass skin almost. This is also a really powerful, for me anyway, chapstick. So add a little bit to my lips. So I hope you guys can see that highlight right here. And then you can even take a little bit of this petroleum jelly, this Vaseline, and you can put it on your lashes. This is gonna make your lashes look wet. If you want them to look really wet and really long, curl them first. You guys know how I feel about eyelash curlers, so I'm gonna be skipping that step. Compare these lashes to these lashes. That's just putting petroleum jelly on the top. See how much longer, darker, blacker, wetter, just nicer they look in comparison. So this is what my face looks like if I wanted to use absolutely no makeup at all. I do want to give you guys one last tip or sort of trick though because in a lot of videos where they're doing minimalist makeup or like movie makeup or no makeup tutorials like this or things like that, I see a lot of comments saying like this works for you because you have really nice skin. I don't have clear skin, so what am I supposed to do? I still have to wear foundation, this isn't for me. And to be completely transparent with you guys, I have always had skin on the clearer end, but when I do have acne, my favorite thing to do is rather than cover it up, I like to add fake freckles. I've been wearing fake freckles on and off since like 2014, but when I do have a breakout, I oftentimes like to wear a lot of fake freckles so that they all kind of blend in together. And even my friends who have freckles say that's one of the biggest perks of having freckles is that when they get acne, you can't really tell. What I'm gonna be doing is using Freck, which is a makeup product. But if you don't want to be wearing makeup throughout the day, you don't wanna be wearing anything, it's really popular right now to do henna freckles. Be careful if you decide to go down this route because there are a ton of henna freckle fail videos on YouTube of people who've like given themselves like dark black dots all over their face. So be very careful. Use a light shade. Do all your own research. But if you're somebody who struggles with acne and you want a way to wear no makeup throughout the day, but you want to sort of disguise or conceal your acne, in an ideal world, obviously, we wouldn't feel the need to conceal or rectify or fix any of the features on our bodies or about ourselves, but I know that that's not super, super realistic. So I did want to offer you guys an alternative. If you don't feel like going the henna route or you're sort of afraid of using henna, Freck is also a great product. All you do is you just add the little freckles onto your face and then sort of tap them out and it leaves you with a much more realistic looking freckle pattern. I even like doing this if I'm not gonna be wearing makeup some days. As my only makeup, I'll do this and then I'll do my brows because I feel like this draws attention away. Ooh, those were some dark ones. From my under eye bags. See how cute they end up? I really like this product a lot. And I think that's it guys. I hope my hair wasn't too distracting or annoying throughout this video. I genuinely hope at least one of my tips was helpful for you guys. Um, I'm really excited to get into some very makeup heavy makeup looks, but this was really fun doing an anti makeup tutorial. Let me know if you guys liked it. And if you have any tips, leave those below in the comments. This is my no makeup face. Thank you for being my friend today and always. I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye guys.